Hey, what's happening? It's Eric Backer, naturopath, author of Candida Crusher. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about jock itch. I've got um, quite a few guys that have been emailing me regarding jock itch, and I've had quite a few consultations with male patients all around the world regarding this condition. So today uh, the question is going to be, does alcohol cause jock itch? Well, it doesn't really cause jock itch as such, but it can be a hell of a big uh, aggravating factor and a continuating factor. So guys often drink alcohol. I mean, we like alcohol as guys. We like beer, we like wine, we like spirits, we like whiskey, we like bourbon, we like you know, all those sorts of things. And we like naughty foods, we like sugars, we like pizzas, we like you know all the good stuff, ice cream, uh, donuts, bagels, all that kind of stuff. We like having barbecues with our friends and a couple of cold beers, some nice hot steaks. These are all things that guys like to do. I mean, I'm no different. I'm a guy, I like these sort of things. And I've had bad jock itch, you know, in the past, really bad jock itch. So I can talk a little bit about this condition with some experience. So I can tell you now, if you've got bad jock itch, you don't want to be drinking a lot of alcohol because it, it's one hell of a big uh, factor in the continuation of jock itch. So are sugary foods and sweet foods. So while it doesn't cause jock itch uh, necessarily, because there are a lot of guys who drink alcohol who don't get jock itch, if you've got it, it can certainly keep it going. So if you've got this condition pretty bad, that's probably one of the first things that you want to stop doing or cut right back on. So if you look at my book, Candida Crusher, I'm not a big fan in stopping people doing things overnight. So if you're drinking uh, beer at the moment, you probably want to cut it back by at least 50%. That's the first thing that you want to start doing. So the other thing you want to start doing is probably treating it locally by wearing uh, you know, boxer shorts instead of briefs and by washing the area at least twice per day, having showers morning and night. So one, once a day is not going to cut it, you need two showers a day. And if you've got this condition and you're drinking alcohol, especially if you're drinking alcohol three, four, five times a week, you definitely want to cut back. Okay, And you'll definitely notice a reduction. Use some tea tree oil products. Take an antifungal like Canzida. Go to canzida.com, uh, C-A-N-X-I-D-A. That's a pretty darn good antifungal. That's going to help you a lot. And cut that alcohol back. Just reduce it, all right? Every glass or beer you have less is one less aggravating factor. So give it a shot and see how you go. Thanks for tuning in.